as Okafor. Uh, it's all right. O'Neal hits the free throw. <laughs> Look at him, look He's at got him. two. You've got to get back for the second one, young man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thought he was up for the three-point play. <laughs> now he's got to make this one. Yeah. He does, and he takes the victory. The, <laughs> the free throw line is a place where a lot of weird things can happen. So, in this video, let's go through the craziest things that NBA players have done while shooting foul shots. What up, everybody? My name is Stefan, and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Shaq actually has a few more of these moments. Check out the one-of-a-kind free throw alley-oop, which of course is not allowed, but it's the all-star game, so Shaq was being Shaq and wanted to have fun. Then, at another All-Star game, he pulled off this majestic one-handed shooting form, but unfortunately was unable to make it. Steven Adams, however, was able to make it, and it was with his left hand. The NBA rule states that if an injured player exits the game and cannot shoot the foul shots, he cannot get back in the game later. So before getting treatment in the locker room, Adams made sure he was eligible for a comeback, and he switched it. Beautiful form, I gotta say. A similar thing happened to Tracy McGrady as well. In 2007, he got his right shoulder injured on display and had to shoot free throws with his left hand. I guess it shouldn't be that surprising knowing how prolific of a scorer T-Mac was that he switched this shot literally like he's a lefty and all that while being in pain. Ok, so we covered one-handed shooting, but how about one eye? In 2012, Greg Monroe got fouled going to the basket and on that play, his contact lens got moved a little, so he had to shoot the first one with his right eye closed. And as you can see, he made it. And while we're on this topic, you know what comes next, of course. The GOAT himself. MJ telling Dikemba Mutombo... And the rest is history, as he swishes one of the most famous free throws in NBA history. What you may not know is that he's done that a few times actually. Here's Michael signaling to Patrick Ewing that he will close his eyes on the next one. And once again, MJ delivered and made it. Now let's switch it up a bit and go from the best free throws to the worst ones. I know that air balls from the line are not that rare, but this one from Tony Parker is quite possibly the most epic one that I've ever seen. Like look at how little the ball travels, it's almost like a toddler shot it. It looks hilarious. I guess the only thing worse than this is not being able to even shoot the ball. Which yeah, that has happened as well. The younger fans may not know Chuck Hayes, who's famous for one thing and one thing only, his free throw shooting. Dude is out here struggling to even get it up. Look at this, pump faking with nobody around to pump fake. This happens in 2K when you press and hold the button for too long. Listen, I'm a certified bad shooter, I'll be the first to admit it. But man, an NBA player being paid millions of dollars to literally do one thing and that is to shoot the ball. And for him to look like this on a completely uncontested shot is unfathomable to me. And speaking of pump fakes at the line, Rajan Rondo did it once for what I could only imagine was just to troll a defender. He is known to do stuff like that just to mess around with people and judge Judging by his look right here, it has to be that. Here's one more from Nick Young as well, but it looks like Swaggy P messed up his rhythm right here more than anything else. Markel Fultz is one of the most recent members of this club and you all probably remember the whole controversy during his time with the Sixers. And check out a quick compilation of the slowest free throw shooting release without a doubt. Watch how chill Jermaine O'Neal is as he pauses to do a quick meditation while shooting his foul shot. Just imagine a situation where he's taking clutch free throws where everything kind of seems to move in slow motion. Well, this would last for like a whole eternity. That's crazy. Let me tell you what's even crazier, however. A guy named Chananu Onwaku. And hit the like button real quick for me saying the name perfectly. Anyway, Onwaku is 100% from the line for his career while shooting underhanded like this. You can see all of his four shots that he made while appearing in five games in 2017 that cemented him as the undisputed greatest free throw shooter of all times. This is something that he'll always have over Steph Curry. A hundred percent on free throws for his career, all that while shooting underhanded. 
Moving on, check out what happens here. LeBron goes to the rim, gets fouled and scores, giving him one additional free throw. But as he misses it, look at all the other players from both teams kind of falling asleep and looking around. LeBron uses this moment and scores two of his easiest points in his career. I can understand if one player loses focus, but an entire team? That's insane. Speaking of one player, however, here is Giannis doing exactly that. I love how he's looking around trying to find the referee to pass him the ball. Zeller uses this and takes it from him like taking the ball from a little kid. Even though the Greek freak is usually always serious and game ready, not messing around, this is certainly not gonna appear on the Giannis Antetokounmpo best moments list. Hey, have you guys ever seen a wedgie from the foul line? Kemba Walker unlocked this amazing achievement during his time with the Charlotte Hornets. And he made it even more special since the ball first bounced from the rim and then got stuck. Kemba could try that a hundred more times and there's no way he'll do it again. This one from John Wall might even be better. Look at all the players just standing under the basket waiting for the ball to drop. And bonus points for this absolutely amazing reaction that cracked me up from Iman Shumpert. Just listen to this. And almost. And almost. Some NBA players are so good that they cannot miss a free throw even if they wanted to. Like Manu Ginobili right here when he was intentionally trying to miss it to go for two points at the end of the game. But as you can see, this is just another one of the wild turn of events that can happen at the free throw line. Next up, we have James Harden shooting on one leg in 2013. He as well got injured and needed to do this before going out for treatment. But Harden didn't want to put any pressure on the leg, so this is how that looked. Did he need to make it that dramatic though? Not really, but at the same time, if none of these players did what they did, I could not have made this video, so thanks, I guess. Anyway, it's not only players that can get caught up in the circus of the game, it's the referees as well. The game was stopped as Humphreys was going up for the shot, but then check out the monster block by the ref to make sure that he doesn't shoot it. Why did he need to do that? I have no idea, but honestly, I'm thankful for this hilarious video. And here's another example of a ref being overzealous. He rushes the pass to Steve Nash here while Nash was going through his routine at the line. And the result is injury to the groin area, as the commentators would say it. It's all good though, and they all got a kick out of it, and there were no deflated balls during this incident. And finally, I wanted to save this heroic moment for the end of the video. I doubt that there are a lot of you that haven't seen it, but it's worth re-watching it every time. The late, great Kobe Bryant tears his Achilles tendon and knows that his season is over. However, he has the will and the determination to limp his way to the line and knock down two crucial free throws and help the Lakers stay in it. This is the true definition of Mama mentality. And on that note, we can end this video that was very interesting for me to make. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. That's it for now. Subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. I'm gonna shoot a free throw. Of course it's gonna be air ball right on topic for this video. Man.